Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to review the Resurrection Remix Room in the Dynamo Z2 Plus. As many of you have asked me to do a small review of that, so I'm going to tell you everything that uh, does the uh, swipe function work. There are U-touch functionalities, and how well, how does the overall drone performs? Is it stable or not? So all that stuff. Let's begin. So uh, as you can see, the Resurrection Remix ROM is uh, based on the Lineage OS ROM. So it basically has the Pixel Launcher. It has Tribution Launcher also, but by default I have chosen the Pixel Launcher. So when you swipe left, you will get the Google, and swiping up, you will get all your apps like that. And uh, you can edit the quick toggles also. You can put what whatever toggles you want. There are like hell lots of toggle here. You have uh, although the phone doesn't support NFC, you still got the NFC logo. I don't know why. You can access the configuration quickly from here. New music, reboot, language app picker. There is uh, app circle bar and gesture image. There are so many quick toggles present there. So you can choose or preference which one you want. Okay, next I'll go in the settings and uh, I'll show you the Android version space on. So it's based on Android 7.1.2. Android Nuvit, you can see here. Yeah. And yes, this is the Resurrection Remix ROM. Now, the Resurrection Remix ROM is quite popular nowadays and uh, it's popular basically for the turns and turns, the cost customization is provided. So, I will show you some of the customization. There are lots of customization and, and I can't cover each and every one of them. So, I will show you some of them, okay? So, in the configuration, you get access to this. this so many uh, custom, customization option. First is the status bar. So, from the beginning, I mean, you can customize the clock. You can uh, set the position where it is like uh, in the center or in the left. Do you want to see the seconds also? You want the MPM style and what will the font, font size, what will the font, uh, all that. And you can use a brand logo like this, the Resurrection MX logo. You can use the notification bar. You can add some custom logos also. I'll show you. Like you can see the Google logo, they are Spider logo also. So for the Spider Man fans out there, uh, yeah, Spider One, Spider Two, whatever you want. So you can play around with those things. Yeah, you can select the uh, the battery icon you want it. You want it circle, you want it solid, you want it hidden. <laughs> I don't know who will do that. You can want it landscape and portrait, anything you want. I like the circle with the text inside it. It saves the space and looks cool. So you can play around with the system. I can like here it's 4G. You can change it to LTE again to 4G, and yeah, some of that here. You can uh, have the network traffic. I mean, uh, like uh, I have enabled the auto hide option here, but you can, when you disable it, you can see the data traffic icon here and it will keep on telling you what's the download speed. Right now, I've downloaded the incoming, but you can set the incoming and outgoing both. I don't feel like using the outgoing, so I'll just enable the incoming. I have set the auto hide, so when it's not in use, it's hidden. Yeah. So pretty much, uh, pretty much that. Under the panels, there you can customize the notification panel. You can customize the header. You can have a custom header image. I will show you. So see, there you get a custom header image. There are so many images you can choose from. Uh, here you've got so many like pixel one, pixel two, camouflage, magic, paper, uh, resurrection error one. So see, you can even have that. So that was the header. If you want, you can control the task manager, volume panels. You can even customize your recent. So, do you want to show the memory bar? Like, uh, see now I have a memory bar, and uh, you want to lock icon. Do you want to see the dates? And uh, how do you type it? I mean, the stock AOSP. AOSP stands for Android Open Source Project. Or you want a grid type? Or you want it? Uh, so. Omni switch type, slim type, whatever. This is slim type. So I prefer the stock USB. <laughs> okay, we have to restart the system UI for that. Yeah. 
so we were checking the recents and uh, you can change the quick settings whatever you uh, want the quick pull down from here you can change the tile layout the number of columns the number of rows the small QA style do you want it six like right now I have six you can increase the number to seven or eight no I have seven I also have the blue book so that was uh, it that made it back to seven uh, in advance you can have the brightest side enabled so if you yeah, this is the brightest uh, slider in the quick toggles. So you can see there are so many customizations, so many options. You can play around with them. No other room right now provide that much of uh, customization options. And that's the resolution limit. So much, so much famous. Uh, come to log three. You can look on the gestures you want. You what are the shortcuts? Like here, you have the audio and the, the search assistant and here you have camera you can change you can assign whatever you want now you have gestures you can enable gestures anywhere in gestures anywhere there is a tab uh, there is this blue thing and you draw some gesture and that uh, particular thing will happen you can assign the gesture here you can do whatever you want with that and you can have app circle bar this is the app circle bar Okay, where you have all the stuff like that you can add and remove stuff whatever the favorite application you want you can access them quickly now you have the spy control now in the buttons I mean many people have asked me does the resurrection remix uh, ROM support the U-Touch so when you go into the hardware keys you can see that we have tab for back and uh, swipe left for recent and so you can see the U-Touch functionality is there you don't get the exact same swipe action uh, in the stop room you swipe between the application but that uh, same feature is missing but still you can uh, use the button like that I will show you uh, if you are in settings or somewhere you just tap it once you will get back and if you press the button you get to home and if you swipe uh, left you will get to the recents and on swiping right you will get the menu like this so yes yeah, so I've left it here yeah so this you get the menu so that functionality does work so people who were asking that and you can also enable the navigation bar here the navigation bar looks like this and if you prefer use, using this so you can use the navigation bar and you can also play around with the navigation bar like you can enable the pulse thing what it do is that whenever you want to play some kind of music there will be some kind of visualization in the navigation bar let me see if I can show you some there you can see that there is resolution we go to recent and we will and you can uh, even change the height the width all over you can play around all those stuff okay you can customize your power menu whatever things you want in the power menu you can add extra things also you can take screenshot and all that uh, in case you uh, I uh, forgot to show you the three fingers so, so whenever you want to swipe three fingers like this like you see it dimmed the display so I can like drag somewhere to take screenshot I have enabled that okay so again for the volume rocker you have got plenty of controls plenty of tweaks you can even play around with the animations on the interface you can set the font size, the display size, the customization display panel, you can enable an ambient display and you can work around the screenshot, whatever screenshot you want, track selection here like I have enabled it or you want to take the full screenshot. Okay, they are miscellaneous, finger or pin authorization vibration, warning color, you can check for the updates from here. Okay, 
so that was quickly i show you and very briefly what are the uh, tweaks and tricks of the is this room you can always uh, uh, install the room yourself and check all the functions personally and play around with them there are lots and lots of functionality so i guess you will love them okay so and overall uh, in terms of battery life when i installed the room it was not that great the battery was uh, draining pretty quickly so i installed the dark moon kernel so whoever person want to you get a great battery life please install the dark moon kernel with along with the room uh, then you will get uh, some good battery life like around 4 hours clean out clean on time 4 to 5 hours clean on time on heavy user i am a very heavy user so i am telling for that that's a good clean on time for this phone okay now uh, coming to the performance this is the uh, unto the benchmark score which I got of this phone so that's good pretty good all the games fine okay talking about the camera in this phone this have uh, the same camera app as you can see in the lineages room so it has got plenty of settings it support 4k video there it is we have got 4k UHD and 4k DCI as well and you can also in the high frame recording with the slow motion 120 fps i have uh, recorded in and i will sh uh, show you the recording so this is the recording which you are seeing now i have recorded in slow motion 120 fps you can only record in 120 fps not like in stockroom where you can record in 960 fps but that was just a software uh, tweak in the stockroom they are actually recording 120 fps and by the software it used to slow it down Okay guys, that was pretty much it for the introduction remix room in the Lenovo Z2 Plus. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please uh, like and comment, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to make me another video recording the Lenovo Z2 Plus on any other phone, like Redmi Note 4 or so, just tell me. I'll try to do. I'll try my best to do. Thank you.